Welcome back to Gentlemen's Corny Guys. My name is David. Today I have a cigar review for you, and the cigar which I will be reviewing is actually not a cigar. It is the Undercrown Shade Coronet. Well, I mean, technically it is a cigar. It's, it's more of a cigarillo, honestly. They call it a coronet. It's actually more of a... Um, I go back and forth because this is bigger than a cigarillo, but people are classifying it as such. I don't know. To me, it's a mini cigar. Okay. So I'm going to take one of these out and just kind of show this off to you. So this is what we are reviewing today. So you can see, you know, it's, a, it's actually a fairly good size. This is a 4x32. <clears throat> take it out of its wrapper so that you can get a slightly closer look at it. So, there it is. Don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but I'll have a little uh, zoom up up in here. This thing's blowing my wrapper everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, this is it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just read off some of the stats for you. So, this is the Undercrown Shade Coronet. It is produced by Drew Estate. It is a Connecticut wrapper uh, with a Dominican and Nicaraguan filler, which is the same as the full-sized Undercrown Shade. Uh, now, the pricing on these fluctuates a little bit uh, because you can't always get them online. Um, that being said, Pipes and Cigars currently has them uh, for only a five-pack, uh, so five of these tins, for 72 bucks. Smokingpipes.com has one tin uh, each at $19.95. And I'm going to plug in one of my favorite channels here, Cigars Daily. Um, great, great guy. I love Tim. Uh, he's my favorite of the pair. No offense to Bradley. Um, but Cigars Daily has these for $20.68 for one tin or $99 for a five pack, uh, which would be 50 sticks. So, not bad, considering. Um, this is... Here, I'll open this up so you can see kind of how they all sit in here. So, that's what the inside of the tin looks like. You've been seeing these on Instagram and Twitter uh, a bunch recently. But they all sit like that. Um, I just, I kind of love that it's like a little cigar. Like, he's even got a band and everything, which is kind of neat. Um, <clears throat> now, getting into the notes about this. Uh, taste, I am giving a 4 on this. Flavor intensity, I am giving a 4. And mouthfeel, I am giving a medium. Now, the room note, I'm going to give a 3. I'm going to actually just kind of cut it middle of the road. Just because um, you know, if you like the smell of tobacco, you're going to like this. If you don't like the smell of cigars, you're not going to like this. Um, and that just kind of seems to be the case with everything. Now these are machine made. Um, these are not hand-rolled, obviously. So the uh, construction is going to be a little bit more uniform, um, but it's not going to be as high quality as a hand-rolled cigar. Uh, you know, when I started doing this review, I had been comparing this to the full-sized Undercrown Shade, which is my favorite cigar of all time. And I have since learned you really can't compare it too much because that's a little bit too much to expect out of a coronet but as we get into this review i'm going to talk about whether or not this acts as a fair substitute uh, for when you want just a quick smoke if i can ever get this foot toasted come on There we go. That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> I'm going to touch this up a little bit. I got a little toasty on the side. It's hard because I got the wind out here. So, All right. Now we're going. <clears throat> so the Undercrown Shade, how do, or the Coronet, how does it compare to the full-sized Undercrown Shade Cigar? Uh, like I said, my favorite size is the Corona and uh, because it tastes to me like a cup of coffee with cream.
and I will say that <clears throat> the um, the coronet to some extent does live up to that. Even out my burn a little bit. I over torched it. Joy smoking outside. Anyway. Um, the, sh the, uh, the coronet does live up to that to some degree. Um, what I'm getting is notes of uh, coffee, cream, a little bit. But it's a little bit more spicy than that. Um, I'm getting some cloves, some spice, uh, some dark wood. Um, I wrote in down here cherry or dark fruit. That's not far off, but it's like a spicy cherry, like a fruitcake, um, like an aged kind of thing going on. Now, in terms of construction, as I said, these are um, machine made, and so the construction is going to be slightly different. But I mean, the ashes actually hold on for an impressive amount of time uh, before dropping. I tend to ash them pretty frequently, but that's just my preference, just so I don't have it dropping in my lap. Now, in terms of smoke time, depending on your cadence, you're going to get anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes out of these cigars. Now, I'm in the first third here, and most of what I am tasting is spice and dark fruit and wood. I'm not really getting a whole lot of the creaminess yet. That's been my experience. That doesn't really come till later. This starts out a very bold, strong cigar uh, for being a Connecticut. And uh, in some ways, I actually kind of like that because it helps me to kind of wake up my palate a little bit. But on the other hand, where I could smoke the Undercrown Shade, <clears throat> the full-size cigar, first thing in the morning, I don't think that I could smoke this first thing in the morning. I just, I don't feel like it's that mild of a cigar. So in terms of comparing it one-to-one -one with its big brother, I don't think that the comparison is there. And maybe I'm a way off base, but I just don't feel like it's there. I feel like this is a little bit spicier, maybe a little bit closer to like what the sun-grown tastes like. I will say that this is sweeter than the sun-grown <clears throat> um, by nature of having a Connecticut wrapper. But I don't think that it's quite on par uh, in terms of, the, there's just something, I don't know, there's something just slightly different about it. And I really can't put my finger on what it is. And I don't dislike it. I just, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know that this is um, really comparable to my favorite cigar. It doesn't scratch the right itch. Um, now, in terms of the mouthfeel, uh, as you can see, the smoke is fairly thick. Um, this is a pretty powerful cigar for being such a little dude. So I'm, I'm very impressed with it, and the presentation is very nice. Um, you know, I, I often don't like coronets or um, cigarillos because I feel like they look cheap. They look poorly made. Um, and these... I don't know if it's just adding the band or something about them just feels a little bit more well put together. They feel a little bit sturdier in the hand. Um, they feel a little bit um, classier, I guess, you know. So now we're getting into the second third now. And normally I would be you know, transitioning between thirds. And uh, for something this short, I just don't feel like that's necessary. Um, I may transition as we get into the final third, but... So we're getting into the second third. Most of what I taste is black coffee. Um, the creaminess is still not quite there. There is a spice to this. And uh, it definitely tastes like freshly... Freshly brewed black coffee. Try saying that five times fast. The, 
there is still some of the fruitiness to it. And it's not bad. It's a little distracting. Yeah, it's a little distracting. Um, I would like for some more of the coffee flavor to come through. Um, but overall, I mean, as you can see, you know, the burn pattern is holding pretty well. Here, I'll see if I can't lean this up. I mean, you can see the burn pattern is holding pretty well. Um, and the ash looks pretty solid for a coronet. So overall, this is going pretty well. Um, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to come back to you in the final third. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, and I'm just starting to enter the final third here. And uh, I know it doesn't look like it's the final third. The reality of these cigars is that <clears throat> they get very, very hot and very, very squishy uh, towards the time that you get to the band. Let's see if I can't get the band off here without hurting my cigar. I had one the other day that took a little chunk of the wrapper with it. Looks like I got away clean on this one. <clears throat> um, and the problem that you run into is that, you know, you start getting really, really squishy. And it's because it's uh, machine made. And so um, you can't roach these the way that you do um, regular size hand rolled cigars because they're not going to be as far more dense. Uh, they're just going to get really weak and start to structurally do raid um, as you continue. Now, in terms of flavor, uh, although real quickly, the burn pattern on this is perfect. Um, it's a little bit lopsided, but I mean, for what I paid for it, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed. Um, if you do the math, these work out to about $2 a cigar. So $2 for a 15 minute smoke. Um, I, th I think that's a pretty hard deal to beat. Now in terms of flavor, it has mellowed out uh, remarkably. And I don't know whether or not that's because I have become desensitized to the smoke by this point. It happens with every single one. Um, and it doesn't matter if I'm drinking, it doesn't matter if I'm not drinking or if I've eaten, but it mellows out in the final third uh, and becomes much more reminiscent of the original Drew Estate Undercrown Shade. Much closer to what I think of. Now, <clears throat> I say close because it's still has some of that dark fruit kind of note in it. Um, and it lacks that kind of coffee and creamer vibe that I love in the original Undercrown Shade. Uh, but overall, really, really good. Solid flavor. Very intense flavor. So, you know, I had originally bought these to be a... not a substitute but a, you know, a quick version of my favorite cigar. Um, something I could bring out on a work break um, when I don't have 45 minutes to sit down with a Corona uh, and smoke. And uh, would these fill that gap? I think so. I think they would. Um, do they necessarily hit all the same points that I would hope they would? No, they don't. Um, and I think that is just a limitation of the medium uh, and a limitation of the size of this cigar that they're not going to hit all of the points that you would hope that they would um, because they're never going to live up to their big brothers. And that's okay. That's okay. Because that's not what these are meant to do. They're not meant to be a replacement. They're meant to be just a quick smoke. And they're generally supposed to represent the flavors of the original. And for this one, I would say, yeah, they got it close. Um, like I said, there's points that I would like them to hit, but overall it's close. It's close. So let's review. So this is a Connecticut wrapper with Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. Uh, you can get this at Pipes and Cigars for $72 for five of these 10 packs. <clears throat> or um, at smokingpipes.com, you can get them 
uh, one pack for 19.95. Cigars Daily has them for 20.68 for a 10 pack, <coughs> uh, or a, a tin, and 99 for five of these tins. The taste I'm going to give a four out of five. Um, it is very very good in terms of its taste. Flavor intensity I'm going to give a four out of five. Um, this is a pretty strong flavor. I mean it's it's going to. Uh, catch your attention. You're not going to think, man, am I even smoking anything? Um, th this will get your attention. Uh, the Coronets are 4x32s. You're probably looking at a 15 to 20 minute smoke, depending on your cadence uh, and how far down you smoke. <clears throat> uh, the mouthfeel, like I said, I'm going to give medium. The tasting notes, black coffee as opposed to coffee and cream. Spice, clove, uh, cherry, dark fruit kind of flavors uh, in the background and dark wood a um, lot of wood in this and not cedar like we're talking dark wood overall my rating that i'm going to give the underground shade coronet is an a minus um and you know i hesitated whether or not to give it that mark <clears throat> because it doesn't match the underground shade and what i've come to <laughs> is what happens when you're not paying attention. <clears throat> what I have decided is that it makes it on its own merit, not by being a copycat of the original, but by being a good enough cigar on its own. You know, if this were a full size, I would pay for it. So overall, I'm going to give it a minus. Um, and <laughs> I think my minus is, you know, there are some notes I wish it would hit, um, and also, they're a little bit hard to get. Um, you know, they're not just widely available. My local shop had some of these, and they liquidated their entire stock because they weren't selling. So it's kind of hit or miss whether or not your shop is going to have them in stock or keep them in stock. Um, but generally, I think you can get them online. You can always order them through DrewEstate.com. So, that being said, um, that is my review of the Underground Corona. Um, it has been approximately 20 minutes since I began smoking, just to give you an idea of the time frame. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you find it useful if you are a fan of the Undercrown Shade. Uh, if you've enjoyed this review, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little bell and it will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me on other social media, my, you can find the links to my Instagram and Twitter in the description box below this video. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. This has been a cigar review from Gentleman's Corner. My name is David. Have a good one.